Stop making these five mistakes on your nursing resume. Number one, using a generic resume. Avoid using a cookie cutter approach to applying for jobs. Customization is key. Have a general template, but every time you apply for a new job, you gotta tweak that resume and use the same phrases, adjectives, and verbs outlined in the job description. Number two, not including a professional summary or resume objective. Listen, employers aren't reading every single line of your resume. So add a summary at the top, at the very top of your resume and tell them who you are, what skills and competencies you bring to the table and what you would like to achieve. Think of this as your opening line. You got to hook them in and get them wanting to read more. Number three, using boring templates. First impressions make a difference. So take that time to make sure that first page of your resume stands out. Don't go crazy with colors and images, but definitely add some professional pop and flair to make your resume unique. I've got a few templates that could help you out. Number four is saying references available upon request. Get rid of this stat. It just takes up space and it's already implied. If an employer is interested in you, obviously the next logical step is to proceed with interviews and references. Number five is leaving white space. Listen, real estate space on your resume needs to be used properly. Too much white space can appear like you have little to say about yourself or that you lack experience. Instead, add a few additional sections to your resume that are relevant to the job. For nursing students or new grads, you might include sections like relevant coursework, relevant skills, languages, awards, certifications, volunteer work, and affiliation. If you're looking for tips and advice as a nursing student or a new grad starting a career, follow me for more or go grab my nursing resume templates. See the link in my bio.